Hey, this is Mrs. Reichel, and we are continuing our last little part of chapter one. Um, so the last couple things we have to go through are um, body sections and then um, regions of the body. Okay, so we have a couple more things left. Um, right now you can see there are three body planes. Part A is known as a median or a mid-sagittal plane. Okay, what this means is the body or whatever you're looking at is cut um, lengthwise or longitudinally. Okay, so a longitudinal cut is a median or a mid-sagittal plane. Um, part B is a frontal Sometimes this type of a plane is actually called a coronal. Okay, so this is where you have um, a lengthwise plane. Um, however, it's going to be different from the longitudinal in that you're separating um, an anterior. versus a posterior plane um, with the frontal or the coronal. Uh, and the last type of section or um, plane is called a transverse. A transverse plane um, is also called a cross section. And this one is when you're going to have a a horizontal plane uh, which separates into a superior and inferior section. So those are the three major body planes. Um, the next thing we're moving into are the body cavities. So the major body cavities um, you can see are outlined in kind of this yellowy color and a red color. Okay, So this is going to make up the cranial cavity. Down here we're going to have the spinal cavity. I think each of those are pretty obvious when you're going through those, um, the difference between each of those. Um, collectively the cranial and the spinal cavity um, make up the dorsal body cavity. Do you remember what dorsal means? Hopefully you remember it means towards the back. Uh, then everything in red is going to make up the, what is it probably going to be? If dorsal is back, what means front or the belly side? You should have the ventral body cavity. Okay. Uh, the ventral body cavity is divided into a couple of specific cavities. So here we have the thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity is, if we had a different section, if we had a, um, a better view of it, the thoracic cavity can actually be divided um, in a mediastinum. Let me write that down. Okay, mediastinum is going to separate the left and right lungs within the thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity is separated from the abdominal cavity by this right here, which is the diaphragm. Okay, then we have um, the abdominal cavity here. And then here is the pelvic cavity. And collectively, each of these two cavities are known as the, whoops, abdominal, I'm spelling this wrong here, let me start over. The abdominal pelvic cavity, so that's when you, um, 
include the abdominal and both the pelvic cavities. Okay, moving right along here. So now we have the abdominal pelvic quadrants. Okay, so the different quadrants, um, if we divide them into the four quadrants, okay, it's separated here. This is going to be the right upper quadrant, okay? I know it's on the left side, but it's on this guy, whoever this is, it's on their right side, okay? This then is going to be the left upper quadrant, okay? So then this is going to be the right lower quadrant and the left lower quadrant, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's see, then I want to make sure Okay, so from here, I already wrote all these in because I knew I wouldn't be able to write them this small. Okay, so then you have um, some other regions as well. If you want to be a little bit more specific, you have the right hypochondriac region. Okay, that's right in here. The epigastric region. The left hypochondriac region. Okay, then um, the next one down, we have the right lumbar region the umbilical region, the left lumbar region, okay, then the last group of them, we have the right iliac region, the hypogastric region, and the left iliac region. Hopefully that um, summarizes body planes and then the different abdominal pelvic regions there are. This officially wraps up chapter one, so you are finished with chapter one notes. Um, I'll see you in chapter two.